Yo, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. So I got some new shoes. They came in the mail like a, like a week ago, maybe. Yeah, even the box is purple. Yeah, the box is purple, bro. I got everything purple. Look at this. I got purple, purple jacket. Oh yeah, shout out to this dude. He got me this jacket right here. I'm gonna show you guys them in a second. We're gonna go to the spot over here and skate it for a little bit. But I'm gonna switch into these shoes and skate them. These are the Nike SB Shane O'Neal skate shoes. Yes, they're the Nike SB SB Shanes. Bro, what happened to your grip tape? Mud. The Nike is right here, and I switch into them, get them. But yeah, these ones actually suck. The Jano skis, I think these are the Jano skis. I'm not sure what they're called, but these are similar to the ch chains, but they're like terrible skate shoes. They they last a pretty good while, but one thing that sucks is the bottom of it. The bottom is terrible. The grip like washed away super quick, and I'm trying kick flips, and my kick flips turn into like backside flips. I get into them right now. Things are fresh. What do you think, bro? Those are nice. Yeah, I did skate them for a little bit for like five minutes when I first got them. <laughs> and we're gonna switch into them and try them out for today. But I did skate them for like five minutes, so they're they're already kind of like dirty. But so far they, they skate pretty good. I didn't add warm them up or anything. So just put these on and skate them and give a review for them. Issues set. So one of my biggest problems with these Jano skis is they have a metal shoestring thingy. Like the little shoestring thingy right here. When you skate on these things, they like chip away and they get like really sharp. And they start cutting your shoestrings. Like look at that. These shoestrings are already about to snap because this metal right here is so sharp that it's turned into a blade and it's razor blading my shoestrings. So I got these, which don't have the metal things. And they also have more grip on the bottom than, than the old ones do, which are right here. These ones are out outright. These ones didn't feel as fresh when I first got them, so when I put them on, they were they were terrible. Unlike the Geno skis, when I first put these on, they felt amazing. So we're gonna skate them and do a little uh, clip of us skating on these. We're gonna warm up real quick, and then we're gonna probably find Alex and Baxter, and we're gonna go skate some sk skate spots, or we're gonna hit up the park. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. I was trying kick flips or a kick flip to a board slide, and I got my grip tape ruined, so I'm probably gonna be getting some new grip tape here soon. I'm not sure when, but. It's, it's terrible, like I got my grip tape bad. Probably not gonna be trying that much new things today or doing anything that I usually do because I hurt my arm skating the other day. I was trying to ollie over to um, this like bump at the park and I fell and I landed right on my arm and I swear to you, my, my arm popped out of its socket and I had to pop it back in. So I'm not gonna like try that much crazy things because I, I have a feeling if I fall on my arm, it's gonna pop back out and it's gonna hurt. So I don't know, just take the day slowly real quick. Alright, so we just got done skating a little bit over the thirst there over there. Well, we didn't skate the thirst there, we skated the little area over there. And now we're gonna hit up Foster for a little bit. We're gonna skate Foster for a little bit. I'm um, gonna try a little bit of things on the quarter pipe, and then we're gonna probably hit up um, Alex's house, pick him up, and then we're probably gonna go over to Pipeline because we hit a pipeline the other day, and it's pretty nice. We're gonna flow around there and just skate with Baxter and Alex for a little bit. And then we'll probably just do something else. I don't know what we'll do. We'll just see how the day, day goes and skate. But yeah, we're gonna hit up Foster for a little bit, try a little bit of things on the quarter pipe, and then we'll hit up Alex's house.
we picked up Alex. We got him back there. We're on our way to Pipeline right now to skate with Baxter and Caden. We're going to try a little bit of transition. We just tried a little bit of transition at uh, Foster. He learned axle Bro. stall, which is awesome. I have my video one. posting. It's posting. Yeah, what video is posting? The one that we... Oh, the, the, pipe, the last pipeline, pipeline video. Yeah, yeah. All right, so go check out his channel. It's going to be somewhere out. Uh, when is it going to be out tomorrow? Uh, I don't know when it's going to be out. Yeah, we're on our way to uh, Pipeline, so we'll hit you guys up when we're at Let's Pipeline. Get it. did not see that. Caden 350Z, that Let's thing is fresh, bro. It is I thought I was gonna slip out, I hit the puddle. I know when I come up that wall, sometimes my board slides sideways back down. Yeah, I ran through that puddle. Sorry. Okay, do a couple more runs and then let's try the mini ball. That was fun. Yo, we're about to go street skate. We had a good session at Pipeline. Yes, sir. Foster uh, me, and street for a little bit, actually. Foster and Pipeline, and now we're gonna go street skate. Um, sure. We're gonna go street skate because I didn't really do that much flip tricks in these shoes. So I tried them out with some flip tricks on some staircases and some curbs and everything, get a good flick. But and so far, they're really good. In the last video that you guys saw on his channel, I did a two stair with two boards at the end of it. This time, I'm going for three boards at the end. I'm gonna try doing front side, or not front side flips, backside flips off of the two stair and maybe work my way up to a three stair. I'm not sure yet because I have a hurt arm. I'm not trying to push myself a little bit too much. But me and him both learned new tricks today. We learned kick turn and we're getting way better at flowing around pipeline because that's, that, I haven't been there since I was nine. So we're gonna just get back in the flow of skating transition. Right now we're on our way to some spot. We're gonna street skate for a little bit. <laughs> Oh, oh, dude. Zach, are you good? Yeah. Oh my god. No, I had my foot 
like it's only your back foot now, bro. All right, we're gonna hit up the other three stair because this one's sketchy. We're gonna skate this three stair real quick. We're gonna get him to do it because he's never done a three stair before. Cut myself up, but it was worth it. I didn't get my kick flip, but this dude right here, bro, killed it today. Got a three stair. Yeah, he did. And he's getting closer to kick uh, flips on the three stair, and he also landed a pop show. So we're doing really good, but I'm not doing that good because I hurt my arm, and I'm just sketched out about trying my kick flip. I'm going for it, but I'm not committing like proper. It was, it, it's a good skate day. I'm not sure what, what else we'll do, but we're gonna drop off Alex. Had a good time skating with him, hanging yes, out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm about to send him that clip because that that clip was freaking clean. Make sure to check out my Instagram. I'm gonna post that clip Find on his clip um, my Instagram and his Instagram. It's gonna be nice. So far, these shoes are like really freaking good. Really, really good. Like the chains are really good. Also, he got some uh, Ninja Houston's twos, right? What are they? <laughs> got the Ninja Houston, Ninja the Ninja Houston free twos, dude. The board sticks to your feet. The board literally sticks to your feet. You can ask Kevin here, he turned them on. Yeah, Same with pretty, mine. Pretty sticky. What? They're pretty sticky, those shoes he's got on. Yeah. Well, you can check out his shoe review. It's gonna be on his channel here soon. So far these shoes are pretty good. I'm gonna do a little bit like a more in them and let you guys know. But so far they're pretty good. Bro, move. You're ruining the freaking shot, Spot. Look, this is so cute. Alright, Spot, you gotta guess me now. Go. Yo. All right, so it's been about a week since I got these shoes and so far I really freaking like these shoes These are the Nike SB Shanes and the ones I had before are the Nike SB Janoskis And the biggest problem with these was these are canvas and I didn't know that these were the canvas I was just randomly searching on Google Nike SB and looking for new skate shoes because I used to always skate Vans And I found these and these look really cool because they were purple and they just look good because they were one of the Nike shoes But one of the biggest problems with these shoes is that they have metal plating right here This the metal plating inside the shoestrings when you skate with these shoes They get really really sharp and they ruin your shoestrings But I had to get some new shoestrings for these because I still wear these but as like work shoes If you're gonna get skate shoes make sure you get something or good shoestrings or whatever that way your shoestrings don't get torn up up really fast because they will these shoes are probably like i'd say a three star rating i don't know they're not they're not my type of shoe but as for the shanes these shanes are really really freaking good if you guys want to pick up any type of shane o'neill skate shoe i like these ones I, I didn't like the ones that had the full nike sb logo i mean it's all right but i like the like outstanding uh contrast that these ones have it's just a plain black and white and then this isn't a full white it's like a, inside is black and then it has a good tongue and everything and everything is just it sits perfect on this shoe the whole design and layout is perfect just, i like how the shoestrings are tucked away inside they're tucked away inside that way they're not showing on the outside of the holes I mean, you can prob probably put them outside of the holes but i like how they're tucked away that way they don't get torn up and the tongue isn't an attachable tongue it doesn't go all the way out the nose of the shoe so it, it doesn't like rubble around and it doesn't go all the way to the side of your foot when you're skating in them but these shoes are really comfortable when you get them out of the box they're like really perfect like i didn't even have to warm them up or anything like the second i got these i skated for five minutes and they already felt like i've been skating them for a month and as for the grip for the nose of the shoe it's really good. I had no problems with kickflips. One of the other problems is that I'm worried about this coming down, but this is actually pretty good. That was one of my problems that I had with my other shoes, is that these shoes got torn up quick. Look at how bad these ones are compared to these ones. These ones I only had for about a week, and they're already still fresh. Usually my skate shoes turn out like terrible in, within the first week. As for these ones, they're, they're holding up really good. These are going to get dirty because they're skate shoes, and I'm walking around in mud and at the skate park. So they're going to get dirty, but they still look clean, and they're easy to clean. And, and the stitching's really good. It's not some frail stitching that would, you would see on a typical off-brand skate shoe. Definitely hold up to these uh, chains. They're really good. And the fitment on these shoes are really 
really good because I I was like a seven five in the purple dental skis that I was just showing you guys. So I went up to a size eight. I was worried that these weren't gonna fit because I didn't know how these were or what these would feel like. But I got them in a size eight and they actually felt amazing. Like they felt perfect. They fit perfect and snug on my feet. So the sizing are really good on these shoes. They're really like predictable for my feet. So I have no problem with moving around or doing anything on my board. Like I have perfect feet control. I like flimsy shoes that you can feel a little bit more when you're skating. These shoes are perfect for anyone that wants something that's light simple and you can get more grip on your skate shoes and these aren't a canvas material it's more of like a frail it's a good material it's not something like this this is canvas canvas like chips away really easy and i didn't know that when i got those shoes until i skated them the first week i got holes these ones are perfect but i think the obvious answer is that the shane o'neill skate shoes are better than the jano skis well there's obviously a difference because the jano skis are 50 bucks or 60 dollars in the price range of that they're 50 to 60 dollars unlike the shanes they're 80 dollars to 90 dollars on zoomies they're 85 dollars i think they're 80 dollars on zoomies so if you guys want to pick them up for 80 dollars they're really really good skate shoe on zoomies and these are probably one of the best skate shoes i've actually had in a while unlike most vans and most nike shoes that i've skated before i've skated vans and a bunch of other skate shoes like uh, jordan and all those type of shoes they're all right I don't know. The freaking Shanes are one of the best fitment shoes that I had in a while. I really, really like these Nike SB Shanes. If you guys want to pick them up, they're only $80 and they're like perfect fitment and they're just a clean overall shoe. Like, look at how freaking good the sway and everything looks. These shoes fit perfect and they're one of the best skate shoes that I have and they're probably the ones that are popular right now. And I see a lot of YouTubers and a lot of other skaters that I've seen skate these before. I have a friend that skates them. They don't look like an outstanding shoe, but they are super freaking clean and great skate shoe. And I like the overall look of how the like the swoosh and everything goes with low of the shoe. And the tongue isn't so drastic like most Jordan shoes are. It doesn't feel like a tight fit like the Jano skis are. It's a perfect skate shoe that someone who wants to learn like flip tricks or just is beginning into skating. Like it's perfect overall shoe. So if you guys want to pick these up, only $80 on Zoomies. And go check them out because they're a really good skate shoe. Alright, enough about the shoes. I have a really big video that's coming out this weekend and you guys are going to love it. Me and my team are deciding that we're going to go to the skate park. And this skate park is called DC Skate Plaza. And it's located in Ohio. I'll show you guys some pictures right up here. This is what it looks like. These pictures so like exactly what this park looks like and it's overall a street skate park and as you guys know me i always post street clips and uh, street skating videos on my channel so this is the kind of park that i like so this is going to be like a really good video that's going to be coming up here soon if you guys want to um watch that it'll probably be out next week or the week after i'm not sure it just depends on my schedule but this park is really nice we're going to be taking a trip down here and we're going to check it out and get some good clips and just explore a little bit more with skateboarding at different locations of skate parks i think this skate park was made by the skate shoes dc so i'm pretty sure this is going to be good skate park and a good plaza to skate because i never ever skated anything like a plaza before or anything like a skate park like this so it's going to be a whole new different experience so let's just have a good fun and skate it one of the things that i'm going to try is i'm going to try a couple good lines and get some good clips there and do an actual review on this park because i never ever skated any like skate park that's like a street skate park slash plaza and it looks really good so we're going to skate it and get some pretty good clips one of the tricks i want to try is backside flip tray flips on the three stair and i might try a six stair maybe because i've been trying to look at five stairs and six stairs to see if i can try that but yeah the whole team not the whole team but most of the team is going to be going to the skate plaza we're going to all take the road trip and then starting this sunday so we're going to go out there film have a good time and then we'll hit back and probably get some more clips or whatever we're going to film as much as we can get some good clips but yeah in this video me and kevin learned a couple new tricks i learned feeble like that first clip that you seen that we were skated at the quarter pipe at foster that was my first ever attempt at trying trying to feeble and i actually landed it so i learned feeble and kevin learned axel stall i taught him how to do that i also taught alex how to do the three stair that's at uh, the street spot over there the three stair we got him to do that i don't know what it was i couldn't land my kickflip so I gotta go back and get my kick, kick flip. I also hurt my arm really bad, so I'm not gonna be doing that much big stuff. But I also really, really want to try at least get a six there down, or maybe try a six there or whatever. I'm not gonna try a kick flip on it. Maybe I don't know. We'll just push my limits and see what I can do. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't make sure to like and subscribe and leave some comments on these videos and let me know what you think about these shoes. And if you guys wanna pick them out, let me know. Also, most of you guys that are watching the video aren't even subscribed. So if you guys are gonna just do me a favor and drop a subscribe on the little button down there. The red button it'll mean a lot to me i want to get this channel growing that way we can get more profit into this channel and grow this channel more I really want to get this channel going even though i already like it how it is but i just want to get it to where it's an outstanding channel i can just grow more but yeah if you like the video make sure to leave a like on this video if you did make sure to also subscribe because most of you guys i just said are not subscribed so if you just want to hit that like button or subscribe it'll mean a lot if you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out